I want to look at three passages, uh, three scriptures today that uh, deal with uh, the common argument that some people make uh, these days where they say Jesus never claimed to be God, he only claimed to be the Son of God. But if you will look at the scriptures closely, uh, for example, in uh, Matthew, we'll start with Matthew chapter 28, verse 17. Uh, 16 through 17, then the eleven disciples went into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. So, see now, these Jewish disciples, these men who were Jews, obviously knew what the law of God said. Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. If they were not convinced that, that Jesus was God, they would not be worshipping him. Uh, we're going to take another passage, for example, uh, where we'll go to Luke chapter, let's see what this is, chapter 5, verse 20 through 23. And when he saw their faith, he said to them, to him, man, your sins are forgiven. And then the scribes and Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this? This which speaketh blasphemies, who can forgive sin but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered, he answering said unto them, What reason ye in your hearts, whether it is easier to say your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise up and walk? So Jesus obviously doesn't deny, you know, when, when he, they say, no one can forgive sins but God alone. Jesus doesn't say, hold it, I'm not God. Jesus never made that assessment of himself. He, he, he never denied what they were saying, and he never corrected them in that matter. He, he, he affirmed he was God in this passage. He didn't even say anything to correct what they said. So we see he... We see that the scripture is showing us Jesus is clearly God in human form. And then we're going to take a look at, uh, let me just turn here real quick, John chapter 20, uh, verses 27 through 28. And, uh, and he, then he saith to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless but believing and thomas answered and said unto him my lord and my god now i don't see how this could be any more clearer here jesus didn't after that say stop them from saying that no he gladly accepted it he knew who he was he knew who he was and he didn't have to uh he didn't say anything to the contrary so when people think that Jesus never claimed he was God, we, if we go to, like, passage in John 8, I believe it is. Let's go there real quick. Where they picked up stones and tried to... Uh, uh, no, not John 8. I believe it's John 10. Correct me on that. Let's see. Let me find it real quick. But there was an incident where Jesus was uh, <clears throat> speaking to the people and they picked up stones to try to stone him because they, they uh, said, how dare you, a man, claim to be equal with God? And uh, let's see, let's take a look. says, many good works have I shown, showed you from my father. For which of these works do you try to stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, for good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because thou art being a man, makest thyself God. Obviously, the Jews in the culture knew what Jesus was claiming. These Old Testament Jews, I mean, these uh, Jews in Jesus' time knew very well loud and clear what Jesus was claiming. And they didn't, they didn't just, they knew it. And, it. and they tried to stone him for it. And so 
those are just a few passages where we can look to in Scripture that will affirm that Jesus is both God the Son, but God in flesh. And so, the Scripture never denies that fact, but it affirms it throughout. Hope you found this informative. God bless.